Hi guys, so I'm back with another one here. This time I'm gonna attempt to do some street photography with my little digicam. A few things have changed since the last time I shot. I put it on a lanyard, so now it looks like this. What I'm gonna try to do is not take your typical like in your face type of street photograph. I wanna look for little scenes, little moments, little stories, or just cool things that look super aesthetically pleasing to me. Now, I see something really interesting. I kind of keep my voice tone to attract attention to this gentleman right here. He's a good subject. Now the reason I like that image is because it was just him alone and he was walking, the light was hitting his shirt perfectly, he was walking through the tunnel, there were people on either side, very symmetrical. And that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. If I can't find a story, I want to look for symmetry or something that's appealing to the eye. And that's what I was looking for here. That guy's cool. So this cool little scene here, it's the light, the flowers, the sky, let's see if I can make it all happen in one frame here. I think if I get closer to the flowers, really accentuate them. I have one problem with that, the sky is overexposed, so we have to underexpose a little bit. Exposed for the sky. That's too underexposed. So I think I'm gonna expose for the window. Oh, that that might be good. And let's see what I can bring up in post. I think I can bring this up a little bit. If not, that first one's fine. But if I could get it more dynamically arranged, I guess I could say that'd be great. Now this that's coming up is really cool. It's something that New Mexico is really known for, especially being that a city here called Española is the capital for lowriders. There's a really cool lowrider in front of us, and we're gonna try to photograph it. Uh oh, somebody's getting a ticket. Anyway, lowrider these days. But I'm gonna zoom in for that compression. Kind of focus on the lowrider, but still zoom in. This car pass lower down yeah that's better and let me get a little closer yeah that's way better feel the scene kind of go up a little see more of the building and and one last one a little closer go up a little awesome okay Guys, I almost forgot the full-blown body shot. Just a touch closer.
zoom in. Where's the camera? Possibly another tunnel shot. Let's see how this works. Pretend to shoot the light. Take your snap. What's that? I said sorry, I wanted to give you the camera. Oh yeah, no, you're now. good. <laughs> I didn't even notice you until the very last second. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I ran out of battery to knock it. Oh, oh that's so, sad. So that's great. I have oh. more but <laughs> Thanks though. <Yeah. laughs> okay, battery swapped, but I still need to do a photo dump into my phone because my memory card's running out. I have a new one coming in, but it's not coming until the 30th. So I have to make do with the small one I have. So I gotta go swap out the battery. But, um, excuse me, not the battery, the memory card. I gotta dump the photos. Jeez, that's so confusing to say. This used to be an old camera store, and it looks like this. It's now a, like a clothing store, but look how cool this used to be. That's really awesome. Now you can run into a situation like this where you have these really cool buildings over here, and they're lit up by the sun. But one of the ways that I actually have taken this photo before is trying to layer it with something that we're shooting on a digicam with no real focus of interest. So what I do is I bring up a photographic front layer like this, a front element, and then I focus on the building in the back. Looks like there's gonna be a sunset that's a really nice sunset and it looks like it's gonna be here to my left um, I don't know if you can really see the clouds but the clouds are starting to gather the Sun's getting really low but you know what else is getting low my phone battery and that's what I'm recording on this so right now I think it's time to go and do a final scout to get some sunset pictures so here we are guys final location um this is not necessarily street photography at this point this is more like a cityscape but this is where all the locals and the tourists come to watch one of the best sunsets that you can possibly see um 
New Mexico, Santa Fe, you know, we're very proud of having some pretty dope sunsets. So I hope one shows up today that I can show you and that I can also photograph. I've been meaning to see how this little camera acts with the cityscape. So let's go. That's a pretty neat picture. Okay, so let's try to make this happen with this camera. It's a little underexposed. Turn it up a little. No, well, that's too much. Right about there. Okay, now I think I can zoom in just a touch. And snap that photo. But now I want to take this photo here. And this photo is kind of interesting because it has the three elements. So it's going to have this little bush in front, these two trees, and then the mountain. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull that off or like show any definition in the little camera, but let's try it. Actually, that's looking really good. <laughs> good. Aim it. I think that's going to be a really good one. I have to be quiet on this one because I'm trying to take a picture of somebody. There's people already here getting their spot. And if you see behind me somewhere, there's a man that came with his tripod. My man came with everything. <laughs> Digicam all the way though. Digicam nation. Thank you.